When Fred Rose, who discovered Hank Williams, heard their songs, he said, you're country writers. And my father was a country boy, so he wasn't gonna argue with anybody suggesting that he could be professional. But Fred Rose sent them money in 19, the shank of 49, to move to Nashville. And it was like shooting fish in a barrel, in a sense, because my folks were invited, my dad was invited backstage, Grand Old Opera, because he was indeed a famous musician who was heard over WSB, which is a 50,000 watt station. Everybody knew that hot fiddle player. And so as dad was jamming with the people backstage, mother was befriending the ladies that were on the Opry and the other people, they started showing their songs and they started getting a lot of songs cut. And it was that process of getting songs cut that their publisher said, well, man, you're writing a lot of great songs too. And Fred Rose, had come from Chicago and he was Tin Pan Alley really at, at his gut level and had written songs such as Deed I Do and a lot of pop standards. And so he was able to get their songs cut by Ruth Brown, Tony Bennett, Frankie Lane uh, and others. So they were able to spread out as songwriters and really get a lot of songs cut and it displayed and they were on display that you could come to Nashville and be a writer and be nothing but a writer and that really their success opened the floodgates for what became the Nashville songwriting community they were truly the first there were other songwriters when they got here but they were doing other jobs they were lucky to get a cut here maybe a cut there so many of the songs in those days people don't realize came from New York for the people who were trying to write Annie Get Your Gun songs too. And so the folks really were able to prove that you could do that for a living in this community. And they were also able to prove through their publisher, Fred Rose, who was on a hot streak. He discovered Hank Williams in 47 and my folks in the shank of 48. It was, it was a somewhat blank canvas with a lot of room. And my father being a classically trained violinist, with each song they got cut, he was able to add a little bit more texture, much like the symphony does each night with all the textures they provide. So it's, it's going to be great. It's going to explore their, their full palette of songs from pop to early rock and roll, which they did with the Everly Brothers and Buddy Holly and others to Bluegrass, to Come Live With Me, big pop ballads, or excuse me, country ballads that became pop, pop ballads when people like Ray Charles took hold of them. Their songs, Dad would tell you, were songs. You could do them anyway. You could put any suit on them. And we're gonna put the symphony suit on them on the 13th, and we're very excited. You can tell I'm excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A cornbread.